Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. Coming up today, the Scully Smart motorcycle helmet hits Indiegogo, swarming robot tech could power the future of autonomous cars, and the world's first smartphone will soon be on display at the London Science Museum. If you're still drooling over Google Glass, maybe take a look at some headgear that doesn't make you look like a total dweeb. The Scully AR1 is a fully functional motorcycle helmet that just so happens to have some Terminator tech hardwired into it. It's outfitted with an integrated heads-up display that can project navigational information right up in your visor. No more planning your route or pulling over to get directions. You can just pop on your helmet, fire up your bike, and ride to your destination. It's also outfitted with a 180-degree rear-view camera that quite literally watches your back while you ride. It's got an e-tint visor, pairs with a smartphone for internet access, and it's open source so developers can create their own apps. With all the hype around the Scully, its Indiegogo campaign shot way past its funding goal, and you can reserve one for, take a deep breath, 1400 bucks. The next step towards self-driving cars and autonomous highways may be an electronic ant colony? Yep, sure enough, developed at Harvard, the Kilobot works as a part of a swarm to complete tasks. Once a command is given, the robots communicate with each other to get the job done and correct their own mistakes along the way. It's the first time we've seen a thousand robots in a swarm, and the design team says the Kilobot's artificial intelligence is an important step towards perfecting how robots can work together in large numbers. And that could be anything from a dangerous environmental cleanup operation or a highway full of self-driving cars. The device that became the unofficial template for the modern smartphone is about to go on display at the London Science Museum. It's the IBM Simon, and it was launched on August 16, 1994. Despite being 20 years old, it has a touchscreen and a cartridge slot to load specially made apps. The $900 phone isn't very compact, and it's as heavy as four iPhones. Battery life is even less impressive, only managing to last for about an hour before heading back to the charger. The IBM Simon will be featured as part of the museum's new Information Age exhibit, which opens at the end of October. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.